Hi everybody, Rochelle here from Quebec CQD. Today I'm going to be talking about what to do when you have ammonia in your aquarium. Before we get started, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. I've made many videos over the past couple of years, so make sure not to miss a single one. So hit that subscribe button right there. So what to do when you have ammonia in your aquarium? Well, first of all, don't panic. If you act fast and well, you will be able to save your fish and make your aquarium more stable for the future. Let's start off by understanding how ammonia gets in your aquarium. In your aquarium, you have a biological load or bio load for short. This is all the biological matter that is in your aquarium, your fish waste, extra food, dead plants, etc. The more you have, the bigger bioload you have. If you're not filtering appropriately to the quantity of bioload you have in your aquarium, well, it's going to disintegrate and it turns into ammonia. So if when you're not filtering properly, it turns into ammonia, what you want to do is filter properly. So what does that even mean? <laughs> well, in your filter, you have biological media. This is usually little ceramics or rocks, whichever brand you took. In these rocks, your beneficial bacteria will proliferate. This bacteria will eat up the bio load, eat up the ammonia, transforming it into nitrite. Nitrite is also toxic for fish, but there are also beneficial bacteria that will eat up that nitrite and transform it into nitrate. That is called the nitrogen cycle. The nitrate is non-toxic in low quantities. You're going to want to get rid of it though, and that is with regular water changes. So that's it. Your bio generates ammonia and your beneficial bacteria will transform that ammonia into something less toxic and will make your environment suitable for your fish. If you don't have enough beneficial bacteria, you will have ammonia in your aquarium. When you bought your aquarium and they told you to buy, to put products in it, to start off the cycle, well, that's what it meant. It meant we're trying to inject as much beneficial bacteria help them proliferate so that when you add your first fish there's enough beneficial bacteria in your filter that the ammonia is automatically transformed into nitrate so you don't see it so if you're cycling your tank you don't have fish in it yet and there is ammonia well just be patient and let those beneficial bacteria proliferate if you're watching this video though chances are you probably have fish in your aquarium and you have ammonia and you're worried about that so how did that ammonia get there? How can you get ammonia in your tank? Here are the usual suspects. You added your fish too early. You didn't wait until the aquarium was cycled and now there is ammonia. The tank is cycled, but the cycle isn't solid enough. You did your water test, everything seemed fine and suddenly there is ammonia. There is absolutely no way in this case that you were able to predict that if you had too many fish at once, if you rinse your filter too much and killed all your beneficial bacteria, or if your filter just isn't powerful enough for the kind of fish you want. Those are the usual culprits to why there would be ammonia in your aquarium. Either it's your fault or it just happened and this is the reality you're dealing with. Whichever it is, the steps to fixing your problem are the same. If you have under 2 ppm of ammonia, that is a regular ammonia problem in my case and regardless of the reason you clean your filter too much, you added too many fish, you didn't wait your, for your cycle, the steps are the same. For big ammonia problems like 2 ppm and up, well that I'm going to look at that later on in the video. But you're also going to want to watch this part. Here are the products you're going to buy. You're going to buy Seachem Prime. This product is a lifesaver. I use it a lot. It not only removes chlorine from the water, yes it will do that, it helps for that, but why we use it is actually its other property, which is it detoxifies ammonia and nitrite. It doesn't get rid of the ammonia and nitrite, but it makes it non-toxic for fish. So already there, you're helping out your fish. For ammonia issues, the what I suggest is one cap per 50 gallons of water per one ppm of ammonia. So if you have under one ppm, just do one cap. If you have two or three, you might, you're going to have to use more of the product. Technically, the product is good for two days, but when I use it, I use it every day for the amount of time we have the problem because I don't want it wearing off and then I'm stuck. You will add the product for about a week or until the problem is fixed. It usually takes a week. 
might be more. If it's more, I'll just keep it up. The next product is from Microbe Lift. It's called Special Blend. Now I have to warn you, this is a disclaimer, this product smells, it smells so bad. But don't worry, it doesn't stay too long and you're gonna be happy to use it. What this does is it feeds the bacteria in your filter, making it more mature. That's one way of putting it. There's a posology on the box and they suggest using it at once a week. But now what you're using it for is a problem that is an emergency. I use the pathology on the box, but two or three times a week. You can use it as a prevention also if you don't have ammonia, just use it for two months in the beginning and then keep the rest for, let's say you have a power outage or your filter broke and you have to restart your cycle, you know, just in case it happens again. You're gonna want, also want to buy some ammonia resin or zeocarb. So now, You've detoxified the ammonia, you're helping your bacteria proliferate. The ammonia resins, they just help by removing physically some of the ammonia. Uh, the ammonia resin is 100% just that. The zilcarb, it's a mix of ammonia resin and activated carbon. If ever you're, you use carbon in your filter and you don't want to put two resins, well, it's two in one. These resins will usually last only a month. So after that, you're going to have to throw it out. I, I only use them in case of emergency, if there's an ammonia spike in the aquarium or in case of adding your first fish. That's it for the products. Other things you can do. Feed less for this week. Fish eat the food, the food turns into poop, poop turns into ammonia. So just feed a little bit less for this week. If possible, make a 10% water change every day for at least a week. This will take out manually some of the ammonia, the pollution and everything. And the products that I'm talking about after having done your water change though. And if you have African cichlids, add your buffer and cichlid late salt as well. Cause you don't want the pH or the GH to drop too much. Not that this has anything to do with ammonia. It's just an extra stress for your fish. And we don't want that. For big ammonia problems, these are pretty rare, but it could happen to anyone. Usually these happen when the filter stops for a long period of time, usually for a power outage, the bacteria in it dies. And then when you plug it back in, the dead bacteria is just spewed into the aquarium, creating an insane amount of ammonia. No matter how much you try, you can't get enough bacteria in your filter to filter all that ammonia out. I spoke before of ammonia resins and Seachem Prime, but let's say you have eight ppm of ammonia, you are gonna waste these products. The ammonia resin will be full after an hour and there'll still be a lot of ammonia. What you're gonna wanna do is, I mean, you probably guessed it, clean your filter completely and do a 90, 95% water change. Just change it all, that your water is rancid. Start over, you'll have a lot less ammonia. Don't feed your fish for this week, unless of course you have very small, fragile fish that have to eat well, and, you know, feed them. And once you've done that, use the products I talked about, especially the Seachem Prime and the Special Blend. Once you've completely cleaned your filter and you've emptied your aquarium and put the new water back in. It might take over a week to cut, get back to normal because you're starting from scratch, but everything will get back to normal. If you have another aquarium, you can even, you know, you clean everything, you get rid of it all, and you can take a filter from another aquarium that you have that's completely cycled, that has live healthy bacteria in it and put it on the aquarium that is affected. There's that too that you can do if you have multiple aquariums. So let's look at some ways to prevent ammonia spikes. Be patient and wait for your cycle to be done. If you're testing your water and you still have nitrite or ammonia and there are no fish in it, wait an extra week. You can get a better filter. If you want to fill your aquarium with fish and you have just a flimsy little filter on it, chances are that you're always gonna have ammonia because there isn't enough potential to have enough beneficial bacteria in your filter. So you're gonna wanna get a better one, either a hang on back, a better brand, or a canister filter. Those are the best for beneficial bacteria. How can you know if your filter is too flimsy for your aquarium? As a general rule of thumb, this is how I, I see it. If your filter has just a cartridge in it that is laced with activated carbon that you have to change every two weeks, it's never gonna be enough to put a lot of fish in. Not because of the carbon, but because when you're throwing out your cartridge, you're also throwing out all the beneficial bacteria. So you're gonna to want to get a filter that has cartridges that you don't change. 
I would suggest, if it, especially if you're going into African cichlids, to always use two filters, either a sponge filter and a hang on back or a canister filter. What this does is if ever there is a problem with one of your filters, you always have the other one that you can rely on. So you're never stuck without a filter in the middle of the night on a Monday night. Finally, for prevention, learn how to properly rinse your filter. So I won't go too much into details about this because I have a whole video about how to rinse your filter. So basically, if you're cleaning everything with tap water, the chlorine, the different temperature of water, all that will kill your beneficial bacteria and you're stuck at the beginning of having no bacteria and ammonia in your tank and now you're stuck with fish. So I'll put the link somewhere up here or up there and go check this video out if ever you're wondering how to properly rinse your filter. So that's it for today. I hope this video was able to help you with your problems. With everything I told you today, it should not only fix ammonia problems if you're having them now, but it should also help you prevent them in the future. If you like this video, there's plenty more where that came from. Hit that subscribe button and make sure not to miss a single one. If you want more fishy content in between my videos, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I have a great website where you can shop online and see all the fish I have for sale. I ship throughout Canada. If you like this fabulous Cichlid Geek t-shirt, you can get it on my Teespring store. Every shirt you get and when you shop in my store, you encourage me to continue doing what I'm doing. So thank you to everyone who encourages me week after week. You guys are the best. So thank you so much to everyone for tuning in. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.